I'm John Neal, a past president of the American Society of Anesthesiologists and a board member of the Wood Library Museum of Anesthesiology. And I want to show you something from our archives, the archives of our American Society of Anesthesiology, the record, if you will, of the Society's challenges and accomplishments. And it all began in 1905 when the Long Island Society of Anesthetists was founded by Dr. Adolf Erdmann. Uh, it was the second anesthesia society in the world and the first in the United States when it was founded. It quickly outgrew the geographical bounds of Long Island and in 1911 became the New York Society of Anesthetists. And it then quickly grew to become a national organization and its name was changed in 1936 to the American Society of Anesthetists. And the honor of being member number one was given to Dr. Erdman and as his silver membership card is housed in the Erdman Collection here at the Wood Library Museum. In 1944, in the midst of World War II, the name of the society was then changed to the American Society of Anesthesiologists and of course remains that name today. It originally was housed, the ASA that is, in offices in New York. And due to the expensive rent and difficulty of travel to the East Coast for many members, the headquarters was moved to Chicago in 1947, again in rental property. By 1960, the society had outgrown its space in the downtown office parks and the expense of rental was getting quite extreme. It purchased one acre of land in Park Ridge, Illinois for $40,000 and built a headquarters at 515 Bussey Highway. And that headquarters was dedicated in May of 1960 and remained our headquarters for 32 years. When again continued growth demanded yet another new building be constructed a block away, which was occupied in 1962 and remains the headquarters. I'm sorry, I misspoke there. Occupied in 1992 and remains our headquarters to this day, although we are designing and will build a new headquarters in Schaumburg, Illinois in the very near future.